What's up everybody, my name is Jason and I'm a wedding cinematographer. And if you're a wedding vendor, you know how things can sometimes go wrong on a wedding day and that's perfectly normal. It's how we react and what we do to overcome those problems that makes us a professional. Now, you probably have an emergency kit with you at all times at every wedding. I've been doing weddings so long that my kit is pretty large, but it's large because I have run into each of these problems a multiple times. So I'm gonna go through what I keep in my emergency kit that I have on me all the time at every wedding. The first thing we're gonna start off with is mints. Yes, your breath should be amazing, but you should be able to hand these out to the entire wedding party or parents or anyone who wants some for that matter. Other photographers, DJs, because everyone needs to be presentable on a wedding day. So I usually have two of these tins with me all the time. If you're like me and your house is filled with furry little bastards who love you and you love them, then you're full of hair. So I always carry this with me and a lint roller and no matter how good I think I look when I leave the house that day, I always have cat fur on me. And it's always good to pass around to the wedding party to make sure everyone's nice and clean. Now most of these emergency items are going to be any type of vendor based. Uh, if you're a florist, you should have a bunch of these. If you're a DJ, you should have a bunch of these, yada, yada, yada. But there are gonna be some video specific ones in here. I always carry a lighter with me because everyone needs something lit. Whether it be something as simple as a cigarette or a candle or something on the day, uh, everyone needs a lighter and it's always the last thing anyone carries with them. And I always carry the long ones because of those long tubes in centerpieces and walking down the aisles. I also always carry bug spray with me and I don't really care what brand as long as it works and as long as it smells nice. There's nothing worse than handing this out to the wedding party and everyone stinking like medicine for the rest of the day. So speaking of bug spray, which I'll explain in a second, this is a big shout out to my friend and fellow vendor. He's a photographer, Jeff West from Unpost Photography in Galena introduced me to Absorbing Plus, and if you're a wedding vendor, you are going to be in pain at some point in the day. Your neck's gonna hurt, your legs are gonna hurt, your arms are gonna hurt, something's gonna be in pain. Check out last week's episode on The Wedding Hangover for how to get over that. This is something I always keep on me because I can quickly unroll this, rub it on, and probably in about five to six seconds, that pain mostly goes away. Now, the other good side of this is if you're working outside, this acts as a bug deterrent. I don't know why, I don't think that was part of the design, but it absolutely works. I get these at Walgreens or CVS. Speaking of stinky, spinky, speaking of stinky, speaking of stinky. So make sure you always have spray deodorant as well. And the reason I do spray deodorant is because then again, you can pass it around to the wedding party. Anyone who needs it doesn't feel offended that they have to roll something on that someone else just rolled on in 90 degree heat. I think one of the things that always gets overlooked in emergency kits, except for like wedding planners and photographers is a sewing kit. This was like six or $7 on Amazon and it comes with needles, it comes with thread, it comes with bobby pins, it comes with scissors, it comes with, that's becoming a theme. It comes with pretty much everything you need for an emergency type of sewing situation. And it always happens. Groom will lose a button. The dress is going to rip somewhere. One of the maids of honor is going to stumble and rip the bottom of her hemming. It happens. A little bit of thread and a little bit of sewing goes a long way, and it's what makes you a professional vendor. And I'm sorry for being crude, but I believe this has to be talked about. Everyone uses the bathroom. It's extremely normal, and you shouldn't feel embarrassed about it. But this, while sounding corny and silly, poopery is hands down one of the best items ever created. You spray it in the toilet before you use it, you go, and nothing stinks. It's amazing. It's amazing. You can hide the presence that you're ever there. Worth the money. I usually buy them in like three or four packs to say save, save a little bit, but these are amazing. So this is mostly, uh, I would say for video and photo because we're running around so much. We have to like run around, sprint, stop. And then especially during receptions, when we're doing, when we're filming the toasts, I like to get down on one knee so I'm not blocking anyone. So underneath my dress pants, I wear a wrestling knee pad, and this has a really thick gel pad here 
that I can just drop to a knee and I feel nothing. It's so wonderful. The only bad part about this is, is I get really sweaty during the day. So on like really hot summer days, typically I won't wear it. I'll bring it with me. But most weddings I'm wearing this underneath my dress pants. I always carry a power bank with me that I can plug in for phone charging, for anything like that. Now I don't have it on me right now because literally I keep it in my car all the time. I will charge it in my car because I never want to leave home without it. I don't even want to take the chance of taking it out of my car to show you guys, even though I love you. I also always bring a power strip with me and I like these Belkin power strips because of the additional power strips here in case anyone needs them. And most of the time I don't need these, but a wedding party will. On top of that, it also comes with USB on the side, which I can throw into a charger, I can throw in for a phone charger, but I have used this almost every wedding. When the bridesmaids are trying to plug stuff in, I throw this in for them, save the day. I also carry at least one of each type of phone cable. I have a lightning port, I have a USB micro, I have a USB-C. I keep these because everyone needs them at some point. And again, as a professional, you want to be the person to help. You know weddings, you've done these enough that you know what needs to be done and you know who might need this. Maybe your phone dies in the middle of the day and you need to contact your second. You need to be able to charge it. Something I typically get sideward Damn it, come on. You also should carry extra batteries for your light. Ha <laughs> ha! Way brighter. So something I sometimes get sideways glance looks at is I always bring a knife and I bring a leather wind. No kidding, I use at every wedding, whether it's to cut price tags, to cut threads, to cut open ribbons that cannot be undone. I always, always, always use the knife on the wedding day. And the Leatherman comes in handy way more often than you think. Uh, wedding planners will sometimes forget these. Uh, sometimes you gotta open up your camera gear. Sometimes something's so locked down you need to open it up. But it also comes with scissors in here which every wedding party needs at some point in the day. You should always be eating at a wedding day. And you should always be telling your couples that they need to eat. Because there is nothing more or less fun. I said that right, right? There is nothing less fun than having an upset bride on her wedding day. And not for you, but for her or him, because it's your wedding day. You shouldn't be grumpy and sad on your wedding day. So I always bring snacks with me and I like to go for the low carb stuff. And these are amazing because they taste really good. And I hand them out to the bride, I hand them out to the couples, I hand them out to the wedding party, anyone who needs a snack, um, my satchel is usually full of them. On that note, you should also be making sure the wedding party is hydrated on the wedding day. So make sure they always so make sure they always have water. And I always keep about three or four bottles in my satchel. And then anytime someone looks a little peakish or the bride or groom starts to look a little like tired, I just whip these out and I hand them to them. I don't even question it. And every time you see their face just go, oh, that was a lifesaver. This is something for the videographers out there. This is a neoprene white ankle gun holster. Now you're probably saying, Jason, why do I need a gun holster on a wedding day? Well, depends on what area you're shooting in. Ha ha ha. Anyway, so if the bride would like to be mic'd for the ceremony, you end up getting a thousand times better audio quality by having an additional mic on the bride. I'm a mathematician. Obviously those numbers are 100% accurate. If she wants to be mic'd and if she's okay with being mic'd, you need to have this ready to go. I make sure this goes around her ankle. I put my little Tascam DR-10L right here. I snake the cable up through the dress. I tape it inside the dress with white athletic tape. And I always have this with me ready to go. And that way we get amazing audio from the bride as well. So I always have this ready to go. Nine times out of 10 brides will say no, but every once in a while you get the ones who say yes and then you get really good audio quality. Speaking of tape, I always bring gaff tape with me and I have the big roll and I have this little tiny one. The big one I use for almost everything. This one I use mostly just for camera aspects or wire control. Always have gaff tape with you. Yes, it's expensive. It's one of those things that you're gonna look at on Amazon and go, oh, maybe I don't need that but uh, buy it, use it, it's a lifesaver. Any of you kids want some candy? Make sure you always have headache medicine too. I like ibuprofen because it's kind of a 
catch-all. I also use a leave, and I also have these individual packs of Advil, which I can hand out to any of the wedding party. But I keep this big bag because, A, it's super easy to roll up and hide and smash into places in your pouch so it's not being bulky with that big canister. But also when you move around, it's not gonna make noise like it does in the big plastic canister. I believe this goes for photo and video, but I, I like to have them for the wedding party too, is I use these Zeiss when lens wipes and you can buy them in a box of 300, 600, whatever. But they're really good because they're individual alcohol soaked wipes. And if someone is trying to clean their glasses on their tie or something like that, it never goes well. So I just hand these out to people who need them. And of course, me and the photographer, I share these all day. You should also be having command strips. Command strips are amazing things and you can often get these on sale. And I also buy these hooks which I use the command strips on. I can hang a dress, I can hang something. That way I can get a shot in a location that normally wouldn't be able to hold a dress. I know I'm going long, but I want to go over everything. This is something I think most videographers should have. It is a clamp and you can tighten this around your camera gear. You can tighten this around a DJ mic stand. Uh, but it also comes with a baby pin, which you can post a camera, which you can post a light, you can post an audio recorder, which I've done more often than not. But you can put stuff in locations you normally couldn't before. This is invaluable, and these are like 25 bucks on Amazon. Worth it. I also carry Imodium with me, because there's nothing worse than being out doing your creative session 20 minutes from anywhere, and all of a sudden, you gotta go use the poopery. This thing that I showed you earlier. Imodium is fantastic for this, and I also hand it out to the wedding party who's maybe feeling not so good. This makes them feel a lot more at ease. I also bring eye drops with me, and I bring really good gel eye drops because that way you're not like using a ton of it at any time and getting in the makeup and screwing things up. These feel really good and you only need a tiny little bit uh, to make your eyes refreshed. And I use them for myself because I'm staring at the back of a camera all day, I'm staring at a screen, but I'll also pass them out to the wedding party who maybe it's a little dry outside, maybe they're not feeling good. These tend to like rejuvenate anyone who's been outside a while. Camera 101, you should have a air pump, uh, air spray. Do not use compressed air because compressed air has the ability to shoot the dust so hard off your lens that it can actually scratch it. So a little bit of an air pump on your lens, inside your mirror, inside your camera will clean things up very good. Speaking of cleaning, I also bring hand sanitizer with me. And again, this is a smaller version of hand sanitizer. It just comes in a little spray like that. But I like to clean myself throughout the day because we get down dirty. We have to get on the ground a lot. We have to touch things throughout the day, but also through the wedding party. I want them to feel comfortable and happy. And getting to the ring shot, this is something I've been doing for years, is this is called a diamond dazzle stick. And I buy these on Amazon for like, I don't think this is gonna, gonna focus. Take my word for it. This is called a diamond dazzle stick. And they're on Amazon for like two or three bucks. And you take that off, you click it up, little blue stuff comes out. You wipe it all over the jewelry. You wipe the jewelry down and it sparkles. It's beautiful. I always bring a pen with me, and I know this is silly, but someone on your wedding day needs a pen. Whether it's you to take notes, or the maid of honor needs to quickly write her speech, or the bride or groom need to write their vows, you always need a pen with you. And typically I bring two or three because one always dies. Speaking of lenses, I also bring a lens brush. Yes, you can use your lens wipe to wipe off your lens and you can blow off the schmutz, but it never hurts to have a brush just to get into the fine details and clean it all up. This is something for anyone who works receptions. I wish I was getting uh, funded by these guys because I wholeheartedly believe in their product and I use them at every wedding. These are dubs. They are earplugs that I use at every reception because it's loud. Yes, I sound like an old dude who's complaining about how loud it is, but if you're at these receptions once a week with that thundering bass, that thundering music for two or three hours, it's going to start to damage your ears. So I use these, these are called dubs, but I like these because they fit super comfortably into your ears and all they do is cut out the bass so that you and I can still talk completely normal and I can hear you talk over all that loud noise. 
These are 20 bucks on Amazon, and I usually buy two or three of these because I end up losing them, but they are absolutely worth it. Now, this one might be for video only, but I think you DJs should also do this. Um, the amount of DJs I've talked to who don't do this always kind of staggers me. I have a bag full of every type of audio connector I can possibly think of, of joining, of XLR, um, modulators, of couplers, of adapters, of more adapters. I have more adapters in here than I've ever used. And to be honest, most of this stuff I've never used, but in the one case that I'm going to need that one simple adapter and I don't have it and then I don't get audio, it'll be crippling. I would rather spend the three bucks ahead of time, keep it with me at all times, than to ever run into the issue of not getting what I need. That, um, I went through a lot of stuff and my desk is just destroyed right now. The last thing for video that I carry with me as an emergency tool, and yes, this should be a part of your kit regardless, but it's always the days that I don't expect it that kind of throws me for a loop, so that's why I consider it an emergency tool. I carry ND filters with me everywhere I go now. Now, I have different sets. I have a set for each of my lenses that I use outside, like my 85 millimeter I don't use outside. I use that for dancing um, or for prep. So I don't use those outside during the ceremony or the creative session. So I buy a set of ND filters for every lens that I use outside, my 70 to 200, my 16 to 35, my 50, my 35, my 24 to 70, my 16 to 70. Each of those have their own set of ND filters, but these are my more specific and weirder ones. So for instance, I have, and I don't know the term for this, please don't hate me, but it's, it's a dialing ND filter. If I don't know what the sun's gonna be like or if it changes a lot, I can quickly throw this on one of my longer lenses and I can just go to town. This is a, I don't know if you, you can see it, but it's like a half ND filter. So the bottom is clear, but the top has the ND on it. And I use that for my 16 to 35 because that way I get like nice clean bottom and then the top's nice and clean instead of having like a blown out sky. Uh, I have other stuff in here as well that I'm not gonna go through. Do your research and buy a bunch of cool ND filters. It's always nice to have them. On that note, I also carry most of this stuff in a satchel that I carry across my chest with me all day. Buy a good bag that's not gonna rip apart. When I first was looking at bags, I wanted to get like a dark bag to kind of blend in with everything. But then I thought about it and on a wedding day, I wanna be able to grab my stuff very fast. So I wanna know whose bag is what. So I got a gray bag with a yellow insider so the yellow is always super easy to see no matter where I'm at. And I pack this thing full of all this emergency stuff. Here's my batteries. My ND filters get strapped along the strap. All my medicine and light tools go in here. And then on the outside, just because I'm classic, I got my company name. Now, uh, if you're a photo or video, you should have a screwdriver with you at all times. That's not even a question. In film school, we were told if we ever unscrewed a speed plate, like these Manfrotto bastards here, um, if we ever unscrewed the bottom with a coin, we were immediately kicked out of class for the day and we got an F on whatever assignment we were doing. So you always had to have a screwdriver with you. Screwdrivers are sometimes not that easy to carry around. So I like to carry the quarter and this is my patron saint of film school. I have a chain on it, so it's never far away, and I use this thing all the time. I unscrew and screw on plates, but this thing comes in handy, and it's a quarter. I just drilled a hole in it and put a chain through it, and now it lives on my emergency satchel bag. Thank you again, guys, for watching the video. My name is Jason Osterkamp from Night Owls Media. Uh, I really hope something in here helped or sometimes it's just really nice to hear that someone else is doing the same thing you're doing to kind of validate why you lug all this stuff around to every wedding. Um, but I really hope this helps and I hope you be a better filmmaker, a better wedding vendor, and a better person. Be better, do something amazing today. <laughs>